Hello, friends and family. Long time no see, right? Good evening. <laughs> Come on in and join me. Hello. Happy 2024. Today is January the 7th. And tonight, I think it's January. Yeah, January the 7th. And tonight begins Mary Ann's, well, made by Mary Ann's, month of Sundays. So every Sunday in January, starting tonight, we are going to be doing a live at 8 p.m. And I'm going to do some different things throughout the month. We might do some winter things um, because, in my opinion, winter isn't over. We can still do winter wreaths to hang on our doors, to hang on our neighbor's doors. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for joining me this evening. Um, and we might do some Valentine's Day wreaths. I don't do a lot of Valentine's Day, but um, hey, never know. Might need to. Uh, what else? Anyway, tonight we're gonna do something really cool that I have just recently developed, I guess you could say, or designed. And uh, we're gonna do this basket. <laughs> so I was at um, my favorite craft store and I saw a basket and it was gorgeous. And I was like, I really want that. I gotta have it. I gotta design with it. Well, it was $45. Mm -mm. Marianne ain't gonna play that, nope. So I thought, well, why buy one when I can make one? So here's my basket. And uh, probably next week, and as you can see, it is a true basket. You can stiff things down in there. Um, so probably next week we'll either fill it full or I'll let you fill it with florals or whatever you wanna fill it with. You can fill it with, um, you know, just greenery, or you could just hang it like this if you'd like. Um, but anyway, this is what we're doing this evening. I'm gonna show you how I did it. Hello, everybody. Let me see if I can pull you up comments. It has been a while since I have done this, so I might be completely rusty. Uh, I might not know my head from a hole in the ground, so forgive me and bear with me here. Let's see if I can find, find myself, find you all. Welcome, everybody. I'm so happy to see you. I really am. It might show me. I don't think it's going to. But hey, you never know. Let's root. Let's go like that. And then I'll pull you down. I can't see you. I can't see your comments, of course, because this is what always happens to Marianne. <laughs> always, always, always. Ah, here I am. Okay, let's see. Here. Let's see. <gasps> <Marianne>. Yes. <laughs> Except I am. Always, always, always. There we go. Yay! Hi, Carrie Marie. Hi, Vicki and Miss Suzanne and Sherry. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm so glad to see you all. Okay, now I'm going to tip you down. And um, going back to what I always say, if you get motion sickness, close your eyes. We'll tell you when to open them back up, okay? Here we go. Um, this project's really simple. You don't need a lot for it. So as we go, I'll tell you what we need. Here we go. Oh. Pulled you right out of the thing. Let's see. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Oh, I completely covered you up there. Told y'all I was out of practice. Okay, let's see if you can see now. Mm -hmm. I know you can see my little belly. Maybe a little bit further. Let's go a little bit further. Oh, goodness, y'all. I'm not that tall. <laughs> and I got a new thing, and it won't bend the way the other one bent. So, and again, it's not. it's been a while since I've done this, so bear with me. How's that? That might be a lot better. Oh, now that I'm not shaking y'all like crazy. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Yay! And I still have my Merry Christmas mat in the back. Um, anyway, <laughs> thank you for sprinkling, Miss Carrie Marie. I appreciate you. Yay! All right, now, here we go. So here's all you're going to need. I better put my scissors there. So here's all you're going to need for this project is a piece of poster board, some rope, and I'm trying to shine the light on it here. And your handy dandy uni unique in the creek, I about said unicorn in the creek, unique in the creek oval board. How can, how's everybody looking? Can you see it okay? Is there, are we doing okay there? Hi, Miss Diana, how are you? 
I missed everybody. Okay, it looks like it's a little dark, but you know what? That's all right. Um, because this is a really easy project. Maybe I can move you forward a little bit. Let's see. Um, one of these days, I will get my very expensive um, equipment ready to go. The only thing wrong with it is it won't let me go live from Facebook. It just won't. It just won't do it. So, okay, there we go. I feel good about that. <sighs> Hi, Miss Mama Jean Ann. <laughs> Hi, unique in the creek. Yay. All right, everybody. I'm so excited to be back. Can I just say that one more time? I'm so excited. Like, work can kiss it. <laughs> My boss would kill me if she heard me say that, but work can kiss it. Okay, so here's what you need for this beautiful basket. All you need is a Unique in the Creek oval board, okay? Use my link here at the bottom of the page to get 5% off of the oval boards. Alrighty, uh, and now I'm crooked, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna deal with it because I don't wanna shake you guys and drive y'all crazy. Um, and you can see, so. Use my oval board, use my link for 5% off the oval boards. Unique in the Creek, pick you up some candy cane boards while you're there, some um, rectangle boards, some ring boards, whatever. But um, tonight for this project, we're using the oval board. Good old fashioned oval board. Okay, also, you're gonna need some of this rope that I picked up at the dollar store. Um, now, <laughs> hi everybody. Now, this rope is a dollar for nine feet, I think. Nine and a half feet, yeah, nine and a half feet. You're gonna need 10 of these. I bought 12 because I'm that girl. So buy yourself 10 of these, 10 will work. Okay, and then you're going to need a piece of cardboard slash poster board. You don't want Mac Daddy card. Okay, this is driving me crazy. Let me fix it a bit. There we go. <clears throat> now, okay. You don't want Mac Daddy cardboard because you're not going to be able to manipulate it the way that you need to manipulate it, okay? Ha <laughs> ha, now we're straight. Yes. You're not going to be able to manipulate it around the oval board the way that you should be able to manipulate it to make your basket, okay? And honestly, some of the school poster board that you get to make signs that say, Go Blue Devils or Yay Balls will work perfectly for this. Because as you can see, that is what I've used. I don't know if you can see down in there. But see, there's my oval board. And then the back there is this piece of cardboard. So that's all I've done. Can you see it? You can kind of see it in there. See? It's just a bent piece of cardboard. And then I have wrapped my beautiful basket around it. See? Ta -da! And so this is so, so easy, so simple, it's gonna blow your mind, people. It really is. I can't believe somebody hadn't thought about it till now. Okay, and there's our hanger. So anyway, this is what we're gonna do with these things. Easy, simple. All you're really gonna need is a hot glue gun and your scissors to accomplish this, okay? First things first, we're gonna make our base. Okay, we're going to fold our piece of cardboard. So make sure you note where the top of this board is. Okay. I'm telling you what, I'm going to have to take a video class. It's driving me bonkers. Um, anyway. <laughs> Hi, Miss Tracy. Hi, Sandy. Yes, I love. Uh, thanks, Miss Brenda. Yes, I love all the boards. Doesn't matter which they are. I like to say one is my favorite while I'm working with it. So today my favorite is the oval board. But tomorrow when I'm working with the flower board, the ring board, I'll be like, no, that one's my favorite. So, <laughs> or the triangle board, never can tell. I, I like all of them. Okay, so we want our basket to be down here, right? Because we don't want a huge basket. We don't want it to be half. That's gonna take half. That's gonna take over. We want a good ring portion. We want a good basket portion. So I'm gonna say about right here, a little less than half, okay? So I'm gonna mark with my Sharpie or my permanent marker, whichever they, I don't know where that accent came from, uh, whichever you prefer so that you don't get booted. But anyway, there we go. And yes, it's brown instead of black. I don't know why. I guess it matches cardboard and that's what I was going for at the time. But I'm gonna mark my little lines here. So I'm gonna mark it here too. I'm gonna mark it here too, okay? And then all I'm gonna do is push my cardboard up, and as you can see, my cardboard has a rip in it, but that's, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. See, doesn't matter one bit. It's still kind of stuck together, but who cares? 
I got this from an Amazon package, and if they're going to send me a bottle of fingernail polish in a five, you know, in a package this big, then I'm going to be a smart person and use the rest of the cardboard for something else. I'm cr too crafty to throw it away. Plus, I can't get to the recycling center as much as I should. Okay, here's our board, so I'm going to outline it really well. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it right straight down the middle. I'll take it, paint my cardboard, and I'll fold it. Hopefully, right straight down the middle. I'm going to match its little pieces. And that's also why I like to pick, like, this was the top of a fold-in box, if you can tell. It folded in. This is the top. See? The box is like this. Okay. And I'll just rip it off. And this is why I like to use it, because you see my two lines right here? I'm already getting my bump in the middle. So I'm just gonna fold it to the outside boards match. Okay, they match pretty well. I'm gonna try and keep them there. This is why you wanna use poster board, because this is pretty, pretty thick. But I'm going for this, um, I'm going for this ridge right here anyway. So it's kinda okay that they make it. And it doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. Doesn't have to be perfect because all we're doing is this is a base for our rope. So I've kind of made a little edge here, see? And you've got two lines to go by. Now, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my two lines, I'm gonna line them up with the top of my oval board, okay? And then I'm gonna line this piece of cardboard up with my two lines on the bottom. And then I'm just gonna pick it up. Well, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It kills me how they package stuff. It's like, man, you guys are talking about being green and you send me a fingernail polish in a... I mean, literally, sent me a fingernail polish in a... Oh, it was huge. I was like, what? I thought I'd bought a new wardrobe. Okay, so they kind of match on each side. My little piece is here. I think that, that that opening is a little small, so I'm gonna move it into the middle piece a little bit. That may be too big, so let's use the line. There we go, that is perfect. Okay, let's grab us a clip. I lied, you're gonna need a clip for this too. I said the only thing you need is your scissors. But you know, you always have a clip handy as crafter. All right, we're gonna clip it there. And then go back down to my ridge here. And see how it still has a little bump in the middle? See how it has a bump? Okay. And how I've made my middle match my line here. Well, now all I'm going to do is take my cardboard and bend it around the oval board at the side. Okay. And if you have to cut to get it to work, do it. And there goes that part. This is the hardest part of this project. So, I'm using my fabulous scissors here. Cut. That's why I drew this circle, so I can cut this part out without destroying my project. But I want to keep the flaps. You don't have to have the flaps, they just help me. And I think you know where we're going with this, right? Hi, Miss Fulbright. Yeah, if you guys uh, want to know when I go live, just press the I know or type I notify in, and uh, you'll get notified when I go live. It should be every Sunday um, at 8 p.m. Moving forward. There we go. Let's get this back to where we need it to be. I can't pick this board up off this thing. And right now, I'm just fighting with it, trying to get my stuff on there straight. And now, let's hold that in place. There we go. Now, see? All we're going to do is glue it. Okay? So, try to hold it down, weigh it down as best as possible, and then just glue the heck out of it. Now, I've got my Mac Daddy glue gun. You don't have to have your Mac Daddy glue gun. Your um, precision point will work just as well, but I find that my Mac Daddy will get it in there. Okay, and by Mac Daddy, I mean this Mac Daddy. See, it doesn't have a precision point. It's just got the, it's just got the squirted in there and, you know, hit whatever you can. It's the howitzer, you know, of uh, glue guns instead of the, you know what I mean, guys. 
<laughs> Hi, Miss Maria. Nice to see y'all. All right, we're just holding that down so that it sticks really well. We're gonna do the other side the exact same way, trying to keep our, I don't know what Stella just went after, trying to keep our shape, okay? So see how it's got a little bend right here and our little bend matches our, matches our top? That's what we're going for. Ta-da! And it does hang out over the back, but that's okay. That is okay. And it is still okay too if you get it a little lopsided. If your um, point is not exactly in the middle, that is okay as well. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't have to be. This is just your base for your basket, okay? And so to fix this, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue there. <laughs> Why waste a good piece of cardboard? And I don't know what I bought with this. Something that says Christmas crafts, go figure. <laughs> Go figure. Hi, Miss Brew Baker. I've not seen you in a while. Of course, I've not seen anybody in a while. All right, that seems to be good enough. Now, I'm also gonna glue down the back, okay? And um, these boards take glue very well. So don't be afraid of, you know, putting glue on them and them not sticking because they're plastic. That is not the case. They do very well. You can glue on them. You know, no big deal. So throw you some glue on there, be generous. Just be careful that when you put your hand through there, there are holes. So some of the glue might seep through the holes, so don't burn yourself, okay? All right, next part. And as you can see, I've got my Mac Daddy little scissors here. What you're gonna do now is from the line that you drew earlier, you're gonna try and follow this oval so that it's square with the board, or not square, but kind of, you know what I mean. Flat, flush with the board, okay? Okay, so you don't really want all of this cardboard sticking out because you don't want your board, or you don't want your basket to be that big. And there's no precise measurements for this, everybody. It's just, you know, do the best you can. Okay. All right, now see how everything matches on this side and it looks pretty? Just try to get, you don't want any pointy parts, no squares, no triangles. You want it all to be round and flush, okay? All right, now here comes our fun part. And you see we have an opening at the bottom. That opening is supposed to be there, okay? Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Grab one of your handy dandy ropes that you bought. And remember, you're gonna need 10 of these, okay? I bought 12, but um, I'm overkill sometimes. Get your little, ooh. Clap your little thing here. And I do not take the tape off of it. I do not, I leave it on there. Nobody's gonna see it, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, take our piece right here, and we're gonna tuck it in as far as it'll go, wrap it around, okay? See how I did it to where my cardboard is? Tucked it in there just like that. I wrapped it around. Now I'm just gonna follow that pattern, okay? Now you can go up, you can go down, you can go wherever you want to, but I like to go down. Just glue this into place as well. Wrap say that part, glue it in place. I like to go down so I can fix this part because this part's a little tricky. You're not gonna wrap all the way down to the bottom. So here we go. And you are gonna glue on the back, okay? So, you know, just make you a little line here. Finish it down. Uh, if you have little finger protectors, that's good too. You might wanna wear those. Try to get it as tight as you can, but not so tight that, you know, 
it's gonna warp your cardboard because this is your first one. You don't wanna, you know, stir up your pattern before you get started. Okay. You're gonna have to be a little forceful with this as well. So here we go. We're just gonna wrap it around. But remember, put yourself a line of glue there and make sure you're straight, okay? And don't push it down. I got that line. That looks pretty straight to me. They're going to do the rest of it here. Which might not look pretty straight, but that's okay. We'll get the next one. And we're just going to keep on going to the back. Okay. let this dry first real quick but that's all you're gonna do till we get to the bottom any questions so far hi miss felicia <laughs> where'd she go did she walk behind me while i was doing this and keep on going okay that should be good enough let's see oh baby yeah okay now and I know I'm squishing my cardboard down like I told you not to, so let's put my hand under here and try again. You're gonna have to like hold it in place until you get a good groove started. And then you can just rock out. <laughs> it takes a minute. This is not a quick project. It's easy, 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 but it's not quick. That's for sure. And am I straight? I'm a little crooked, but that's okay. We can fix it right now. That's all right. Okay. Now let's go over to the front. And once you get started, you can just glue really easy goes really quick. Just those, these first initial ones are not easy. And if you get glue on your rope, don't worry about it. You can cut it off. You can just snip that right off there or pull it sometimes. But you can snip it, pull it, whatever you want to do. And we just keep on working back and forth. And yes, you don't want to cut this off in the back. You want to keep going and make it, um, give it a back as well. Because, look, see, we have back for this one too. Ta -da. So don't, you know, make sure you put some on the back. <clears throat> Any questions so far, guys? The hardest part is bending the cardboard. I mean, sometimes you'll get cardboard that does not want to go. <laughs> you're gonna lose, use a lot of glue for this as well, so make sure you have plenty of glue on hand. And you're not upset at yourself for not having enough glue. Because you are gonna use several sticks. So there we go. Uh. <laughs> I wish my light was a little better, maybe I can. Here I am still playing with this camera. I promise you guys, I will get my system fixed. I just gotta figure out why it won't let me go live. <laughs> my phone will perfectly. That's what I'm doing, using right now. My phone lets me go just fine. It's like, hey, Marianne, welcome back. Glad to see you. But this computer, it was like, nope. Don't know who you are. All right. Also, make sure you can do this on a um, non-messy surface or a surface that you don't care to be messy because it's going to get, you're going to get glue all over it. You're going to get these little rusty thing or, you know, crusty things. And... Yeah, 10 bundles of rope. Uh-huh. And I picked these up from the dollar store. Um, in the floral section, they are nine and a half feet of rope and they look, let's see, can you see that? 
I, well, I guess it'd help if I put it right side up. It's just um, decorative floral rope is what it's called. They normally have plenty of them. Nine and a half feet. It doesn't tell me how wide it is, but um, I mean, it's not too wide. Maybe, gosh, quarter of an inch maybe wide. It's not very, but you'll need 10 bundles. Um, that's how many it took me to do that one. I bought 12 just to be, just so that if I um, screwed up, I had a little more than I needed. Ow. So, you know, buy 12. Use 10. You got two to do something else with. Make a bow on your basket or something if you want to. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you do. I'm just holding it in place here because we're getting down to the bottom. Going up is a lot easier. You just wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap. But getting started down here at the beginning, it it's little time consuming. And as you can see, this piece has, oh good, it didn't do it in the front. Just in the front. Okay, we can fix that. Oh look, you guys can see a little better. I'm just going back and forth. Gluing, gluing, gluing. Now I'm kind of pushing this bottom row into this one and holding it for a minute till it sticks. Again, watch the holes in the board. You will, if you've got your hand like me, underneath everything, you will burn yourself from putting all the glue underneath there. <clears throat> so be careful, you don't squeeze it out on yourself and you know. gap here, but that's okay because I don't have a gap in the front. Okay. And we're just going to keep, see, I don't have a gap there because I had the rope pushed up. Now we're going to just manhandle it and keep on going. See why I didn't want to decorate it tonight too? It's going to take us a minute to get this done. I probably won't do the whole thing with you. I'll just show you how to finish the bottom. Because, I mean, it's self-explanatory. You just roll some rope around it. <laughs> you know, it's not that hard. It's not, not like a game changer or anything. Wouldn't take any kind of, I don't know. Wouldn't take any, it won't take practice like pedals would. If it was a new pedal or something. It's just wrapping rope around a board and some cardboard. That's all it is as I keep pulling it away from you. That's all we're doing. Rope around some cardboard. And around an oval board, yay! With lots of glue. And see how I'm pushing up on the end here? Push it push together till the glue catches it so that you don't get any like crazy pieces that aren't together. Know what I mean? There we go. Let's go back and do this side. Push up on it a little bit. Okay, so here's something that you do not want. You do not want your end to be on the front, okay? And it's not long enough to go just a little bit longer over to this side. So what we're gonna do is, thankfully I noticed it before I glued. So I'm gonna cut it right here. Okay, cut it off. Don't throw that away. Put it to the side. We will use it. And one thing I have noticed about these um, ropes is that sometimes they're a different thickness. So as you're making your basket, see how these are different? As you're making your basket, try to be um, cognizant of that. So that way you don't get a thin rope, a skinny rope, a thin rope, a skinny rope. I didn't realize I was, I was out of camera view. Sorry about that. Thin rope, skinny rope, thin rope, skinny rope, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Make sure that you get all the same ones. This one matches this one better. So we're going to put that one to the side. See, that's why you buy 12. <laughs> that was smart, man. Okay. Let's see. Hello from Florida. Hello from Tennessee here. I'm um, in East Tennessee. Yeah, thank you. That's what we're trying to do. A finish back is what we're trying to, trying to accomplish here. Any other questions so far? 
So again, I don't take the tape off, I leave the tape, because if you don't leave the tape, it could end up fraying, and uh, that's the last thing you want. I mean, it is dollar store rope. Let's, let's be real now. <laughs> so all you're gonna do now is just match it at the end. Just put you some glue right there, match it, start again. Here we go. Boom. And voila. So as I'm doing this boring row, how's everybody been? What y'all been doing? Anything cool I need to know about? <laughs> Anything special going on in the world of everything that I've missed of the last little bit? Carrie Marie tries to keep me in the loop, but sometimes I go AWOL. <clears throat> or sleep for three days like I did this weekend. <laughs> but hey, sometimes you need your beauty rest, you know? Especially when you work like crazy. Anything amazing going on? Anybody taking any good trips for the new year? Starting the new year off with a trip? Or are we all just staying home, saving our money for the summer? Um, my mom's in Florida right now, down at her place in Okeechobee, enjoying the warm weather. She said it was 75 there today. I said, oh, it's 40 here, 78 inside my house. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Florida, so I don't, I mean, I just don't like going down there. It's hot. I'm not a beach girl, I think is the reason why. Not that it's not a great state, you know. It's just, I'm, I'm not, I can't handle it if it gets hot. I can't. I, I start feeling like I'm suffocating. And I don't like the beach because it's got tons of sand. I like it from the, um, you know, window of wherever I'm staying. And I like the, I like swimming in the ocean from a boat, but I hate the sand. That's just me. I'm weird. I'm taking a break from working on my chunky yarn blanket. Wow, did you get? I did need the rest. You're right. Did you get frustrated or are you just tired and at a stopping point? Those chunky yarn blankets I heard were hard to do. I want one really bad. And everybody's like, you can make it. But you know what? That yarn is expensive. And sometimes having somebody else make it is exactly what you need to do. Because you don't, you know, making it yourself is sometimes harder. Tell me about your chunky yarn blanket there, Tara. <laughs> oh, you learn so you don't hurt your back. Oh, okay. Do you sit a lot doing it or, or do you stand up? <laughs> we'll be on the, sitting in the hotel room having drinks together there, Carrie. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty, folks. And I'm just holding it here so that it stays. Oh, you hunch over. Yeah, I do that a lot at work too, where I work from home and sit at a desk all day. Or I find myself sitting on Indian style in my chair, like, sitting on my leg, which is dumb. I'm sitting in a chair. Why am I sitting Indian style? <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Well, um, I want to see pictures when you get it done. I love chunky arm blankets. Okay. Like I said, this is not rocket science. It's just time consuming. I need another glue stick here. And we're almost to the part where we can stop and I wanna show you another one I've done. Mm, come on, little glue. You're on your fifth skein, oh my God, see? Lord, and at ten dollars a skein, because I know that chunky stuff. Now, unless you get it Hobby Lobby on like thirty percent off, that's still to me expensive for yarn. Ten dollars a skein, Lord. 
And you gotta buy the good stuff if you're gonna take the time to do it, you know? And it, if you're doing a project, I guess it doesn't matter if it's on sale or not, you're gonna buy it. <laughs> you're like, oh God, I can't stop now. My luck is that my color's not on sale. When I go to get it, it's like everything else is on sale except what I need to finish my project, you know? Like, oh yeah, all this yarn's 30% off, but the pink, now the pink, it's still $12. <laughs> yeah, well. Okay. And again, guys, if the back looks like this, if it has little spots, don't worry about it. It's okay. You know, you're going to hang the back on the... The back is really just for stability. But you're going to hang the back on, you know, a... A wall, a door, or something. You're gonna hang the back on something. So if you have little little creases like this, it's okay. As long as your front looks nice and neat, then you're fine. Okay. So don't freak out if it's not absolutely perfect. Okay. If I'm saying that, you know it's no big deal. <laughs> As y'all know me, I'm the perfectionist for sure. Okay. Trying to judge how much I think. I think we're going to do one more. And then go for the inside. Or not, we might do. Where's my. Yeah. Mm. Let's do two. I'm just hoping for the groove here. Just <laughs> Oh, really? You've got one? Oh, you got it on sale two years ago and I'm finally making it. Oh, cool. Don't you love that when you find stuff in your closet? You're like, oh, I forgot about this. I think it's cool. I got a lot of stuff I find in my closet. And I'm like, oh yeah, that went to that snowman. Or, oh yeah, that went to that. <laughs> That's what us crafters do. Buy stuff we don't need and then make, make something beautiful out of it. And who says we don't need it? We do need it. Okay. Now here's where it gets tricky because as you can see, I'm running out of real estate to make it go back and forth. All right. So I'm going to do one more. And then I'm going to have pretty much nothing to glue onto. And my oval is going to be so um, angled I'm not gonna be able to wrap around and get a good solid back. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do, okay? So let's do this one more, going across. And I'm really gonna hold it there. Ow. As I burn myself. Really gonna hold the corner in place. Maybe. Okay, let's try this again. After I'm, <laughs> I just turned it 180. All right, that looks horrible. But that's okay, we can chop it off. See how we got glue all over the place? I'ma hold, 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 holding, holding, holding. Like the commercial with Kristen Bell, hold! Trying to sell the truck. <laughs> yeah, Diana, Carrie needs to um, go home so she can play videos with us. So we can see her creative again. She's got a lot going on at home though. She's helping her daddy and um, her mom and her sister and the kids. and. Okay, and at this point, what I've done is I have folded. Instead of like followed, I just 
kind of twisted it again and folded. And I haven't glued yet. I'm kind of trying to keep my finger there. Because I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to do it all around the back. All right. Yeah, I better do it now. Let me just make sure this corner's here. Okay. Now I'm going to cut enough off to where I can start a new one if I have to. Remember how we started a new one up here? So I've cut enough off to where I could take this end and stick it right here and it wouldn't hurt anything. Okay. So there we are. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of rope and we're going to stick it in there to make ourselves another um, base to wrap our rope around. And like I said, don't worry about this glue right here. We can cut it right off. See, it comes right off if you cut it. No big deal. So let's take a piece, maybe like that. So, mm, what is that, 10 inches? Yeah, 10, 11 inches. And I'm gonna stick it down in here. See how I've stuck it down and it comes out the bottom? See? Okay. And I'm gonna squish it to the sides on the inside, you know. Making sure that it's not longer on one side than it is on the other. We gotta make it a good oval, right? had more rope on the other side than I did on this side. Okay. Now see how I've got a little more base to work with here? See? All I've done is stuck a 10 inch piece of rope and it doesn't even have to be 10 inches. It could be however big the opening is right here, four inches. Okay, I've just stuck a piece of rope down in there and made the rope flat to the side Stuck it under, under this part right here of the cardboard, okay? And then made sure that it is center. See what, and what I mean by center is that it, that the lowest part matches our hanging hole, okay? So if we go straight down here, then the arc of the semicircle is right there. Does that make sense? Everybody understand? <laughs> oh, yay! Fiber! Harry's mom's got fiber. Woohoo! <coughs> All right. Now that we've got this in place, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it back over. And you're going to decide if you like that much hanging out. I mean, do you like that much hanging out? I think that's fine. Um, it's going to make it look like the bottom of this over here when we get finished, right? See how I have it on this one? Okay. And then you're just going to continue moving around, moving around. Okay. Um, let's finish this. And then I will show you a little bit of... The round board, or the ring board, as a, wait, let me, I better leave that there for a minute. Okay, as we keep going, as we keep going, yay, come on, <laughs> all right, that should be stuck enough. Okay, now, it's really important that this time, you hold this in place until it is exactly the way that you want it, okay? Don't just let it go or it's gonna flop, it's gonna go wherever you do not want it. So make sure you put a good amount of glue over your lip right there. See how I have just enough room for one more piece of rope? 
I'm gonna put it right there, I'm gonna pull it, and I'm gonna hold my side. See how I've got it like held right there? I'm gonna hold it real good, even though I might burn my little self like I just did. I'm gonna do it. Hold, 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 as Kristen Bell says. I love that commercial, I think that's hilarious. Burn, 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 all day long. Burn, 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 when I sing it long. Okay. Here we go, there we go. I think we're good. Now I'm gonna roll it over. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna fold. Now, it's very important that you fold instead of wrap, okay? Because you're folding it in on this little piece. You're folding it in on itself. Keep a good hold of it. Don't let it go. Stella, I don't know what you have found outside, but I'm so glad you're so excited about it. She has run back and forth through here like nobody's business. And I am hold, holding. I bet I sound like an idiot. People that don't know me are probably like, what in the world? What'd you find, puppy? Okay, okay, okay. Almost there, almost held. Pushed back, pinched in. See what I mean by pinch? It's folded back in on itself. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Miss Bradley. Thanks for joining us. I will see you next week. Hope you have an amazing evening. And we're gonna just fold around this way and we're gonna keep going until we see nothing inside our little piece here, okay? Maybe just one more. We got this one to go and one more and we are done. And all you're gonna do here you're out of cardboard, but you're gonna, you know, try to like lace it onto the other piece. And make sure that you have your arc where you want it. Ay, ay, ay. I hope that's where I want my arc because I just have it there. Okay, it's gonna come off. I don't hold it. Okay, almost done, one more. Fold it in on itself again. And then she had the back of the board here. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing since I've got, I'm so hunched over it here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just pinching it, kind of pinching it toward the board and holding it in, see? Because I've got one, I've got just this little lip hanging out, which is what makes it look like the finished basket at the bottom. And then the rest of it's uh, self-explanatory after we get this part done, because this takes you a good minute. But I figured I'd definitely show you how this goes, because this is not easy. All right, last part. So here we are. We're just gonna put some glue on our little sticky outy part. And again, fold it out. Fold it in on itself. Try not to get burnt. Okay, I think that's gonna work. And voila, let's just do this one little piece. Let's cut her. And this you can tuck in if you'd like. Tuck it into the hole of your middle piece. I'm gonna shoot some glue in there and I'm gonna shoot some glue right here and I'm gonna shoot some glue right there probably can't see what I'm doing and then I'm just gonna hold it for a minute I'm gonna get my nails all nasty all right oh, and hope that it looks decent from the front it does yay okay Okay, there's our basket. There's the bottom, okay? 
Now, I promise, guys, it's super easy. All you do from here is just start at the back. So if I now that I'm finished with this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my next rope and I'm gonna make sure it's the same size. Okay, because remember, some of them they'll trick you. Some of them are like this. And I'm gonna go all the way up, but I'm not gonna take my tape off of the end, wherever the end is. Goodness gracious, where are you? Aha, here's the end. I'm not gonna take my tape off. I'm just gonna lay it right here. Actually, lay it right here. So you can go around again, okay? So that you have your back covered, all right? Start from here, now that you finish your bottom, okay? So that your back ends up looking like this, okay? And you have a basket like this. Now I promise you, it'll end up, they'll end up looking just the same. It's exactly the way I've done this one, okay? All right. Now, um, as you get to the top, you're going to run into, this is what the oval looks like. I mean, the ring board. This is what it looks like if you do it with this. And I've not finished it yet because I want to do the sides. And I ran into a problem with the ring board. As you can see, instead of making nice, pretty lines this way, it made nice, pretty lines that way. <laughs> Bear with me just a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Uh, Stella's got... Stella, what are you doing? Sorry guys, that was crazy. All I could see was her little feet. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't mean to leave y'all so long. Uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, that got me all out of whack here. Sorry. Anyway, good old dogs. Love them, gotta love them. Um, here is our ring board with the same exact principle, except what I've done with the ring board is that I actually folded the bottom in on this one, okay? To do that with the cardboard, see how there's cardboard on both sides? There's cardboard there and there's cardboard there on this one. Um, shoo, that got me out of breath. I just folded the cardboard around and where the um, circle wouldn't work, cut a slit and fold it in, okay? That's all you do. But instead of the lines being this way here, the lines got a little bit, see how they got a little jagged? They got a little wavy. <laughs> so that left me with barely any room on the back. Um, so what I've done from here is I'm gonna take one more piece and wrap it around. But first, I'm gonna create our hanging hole here. And this is what I did with the other, just to show you. Because if you'll notice on the other, Here's what it looks like as you get to the top. See? Um, and you wouldn't notice unless I pointed it out. And the reason I'm pointing it, at, pointing it out is that the same thing happened. If you're pulling tight, pulling tight, pulling tight, pulling tight, you don't have enough room here because the rope is too thick and you have spaces out here. So in order to keep, <laughs> in order to make it look like it's gone all the way around, you're gonna have to do a little bit of finagling, okay? And again, had I not pointed it out, you would have never known. But here's what you do. After we put the hanging hook in. Like I said, it's been forever since I've done a lot, so if I'm all over the place, I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And my little dog's not used to it either, so she's acting up. As I go through a million of these little, let's see, might as well just use this one. It's open, let's just use it. Um, obviously, this big old huge thing is not going to fit into this hole. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I actually really am going to cut the tape off this one this time. But 
But I promise you, I did the exact same thing for this one as I did the oval board. I just didn't do it. Well, thanks, Miss Jean Ann. Thank you, thank you. And I'm just gonna unravel a little bit of it. I'm gonna unravel. It comes apart really easy, <clears throat> which is why you saw me twisting some of the other ones. But, uh, mm, that might, let's do a little more. Eh, let's do just a little more. <laughs> I get a little paranoid. I want it to be, you know, strong and sturdy. Because once you get it done, these things are heavy. Okay, so there we go. That's going to have to do. All right, let's throw my white rope back. Um, and this white rope also came from the dollar store. So I don't have a, yeah, I do. Here we go. Came from the dollar store. See, same thing. Floral stuff. Came in the floral department. Grab you some. Um, what is it you call it, Carrie? It's not the dollar store. It's the, uh, oh, Lord. Dollar and a quarter store or dollar... Dollar Tree is what it is, but I think it's Dollar and a Quarter Tree or something. <laughs> anyway, it's not actually a dollar anymore. It's like Dollar and a Quarter. But, ah, there we go. I didn't think I was going to get that in. Now I'm just going to thread it through. Actually, I didn't thread this through that one, did I? But this might be a better idea, so let's just go with it. The last one, what I did was I put a... Am I gonna like that? Let's see. We'll try it. And if we don't, then we don't. There you go. Ha ha. All right. Now, mm, I don't think that's gonna work because we're gonna have to wrap stuff around it. So let's do it the way we did the other way. So grab a zip tie. Put it in your top hanging hole here. Just tie a knot around the back here. I like to make sure it's flush with the back. I didn't bring my zip tie again. Ow. Give myself a chest wound there. Just <laughs> tie a knot. That's an awfully thick hanger, but again, these are a little heavy, so they'll be okay. <sighs> Making sure it's good and tight. And that's the last thing we need is for it to come off. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. I'm just trying to make the hole as a, or the knot in the center. So it doesn't look all wonky when you hang it up. And there we go, there's our hanger. I think it actually kind of looks cool. It matches the, matches the, Kind of feel of the wreath, like boho maybe, or shabby chic. I don't know what you call them now. I don't think you can call it boho. But let's put another zip tie in just to make sure. Okay. There's our. So don't forget your hanging hole before you do this part, or you're gonna be cussing, and we don't want you to cuss. We want you to be happy. <laughs> I want you to be happy. Happy people. Okay. And again, be careful because they pull the same trick as they do with the brown rope. See how this is uh, thicker than this one? Yeah. So be careful about that trick. And then all I'm going to do now, the five quarter store, that's it. The five quarter store. <laughs> all we're going to do now is... We're going to do the same thing, except, I love those scissors, so thank you, Miss Laurie, for those scissors, um, that you can get them on our website, and I'm so glad I bought me some. We're just going to do the same thing. We're going to start here, thread it in, Pull a little bit. Let's get some glue going here. And work ourselves around. Ouch. Our hanging holes. Or our hanging yarn. I guess. Hanging string. 
whatever you want to call it. And so from down here, I'll do the same. I'll just put little strips. Maybe I'll do that next to show you. Okay. And I pull a little bit and then glue. And then pinch it around the board. See how I kind of like just pinch it around the corner there and stick it next to this one? You've got to do that just the way it works. And I'll follow the line on the back to do my next one. And for um, the top, the handles, you don't have to do glue on every back and the front and the back and the front. It's okay, you can just do glue on the front or glue on the back or every other one or however much you think you need for your project to be secure. And when you get to a point where you run out of middle here, you're gonna do this. <clears throat> Hold on, I'll show you. Let me go ahead and cut this off. That's our back. So I'm going to cut it in the middle. So I have, anytime you make a cut, make sure you cut it in the middle so that you have plenty of space to start again and put your bad piece. Okay? So cut in the middle or cut enough to where it doesn't look like this on the front. See what I mean? That doesn't look good. Make sure you always put that in the back. Okay, so now here we are, we're, we've come to the end and we're left with these pieces right here. Well, we don't have enough room in the middle right here, see? We don't have enough room because I've got cardboard there, right? And we don't have enough room on the back to actually make a full wrap. So what we're gonna do this time, let me actually glue this down so it doesn't drive me bonkers here. What we're gonna do this time is cut pieces, starting here, wrapping around to fit, okay? I'll show you as soon as I get this stuck here and I'm happy with it, there we go. All right, so again, always start in the back. Here we go, we're just gonna give us a little bit of glue here. And this is also a good place to practice because practice this particular um, I guess method because you're going to have florals right through here. Nobody's really going to see it, right? Because you'll have, you know, maybe a bunny here or maybe you'll have a flower sticking out or something. You're really just doing this because uh, Marianne's OCD. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this And I'm gonna glue it there, and then I'm gonna pinch it together and come back, okay? I don't know if you can see that for the, I didn't think about that for the, okay. So I've glued it to here, and I'm just waiting for that part to dry. Now I'm gonna pinch it against itself, put some glue down, and bring it back. Does that make sense? See how it's pinched? And again, you're not gonna see this part. It's gonna be okay. You really don't even have to do it. I'm just doing it because I am, I can't leave that gray there. I will know it's there and then it'll screw up my whole thing. Okay? So, it'll screw up my whole flow. <laughs> And it's gonna look the same, and I wanna put flowers there. See what I've done? Can everybody see that? I wonder if I can go around this time, I can. I can go around one more time, but it's dead right there, so I'm gonna cut it right there in that angle. It's just about following some shapes. Just follow, make some shapes. <laughs> and I'm just gonna cover it up. 
This part right here does not matter one bit. It's at the back. It's flowers. Let's cut this to be there. There we go. Okay, friends, I have kept you for an hour now showing you how to do it. And I could be here all night wrapping rope. So there's our project. Here's this one. Okay. Start. If you're going to do this one, make sure you start. Um, when you finish this basket, make sure you start here on one side or the other and go up to about right here. Okay. Go up to about right here and stop. And then fill in your spaces as it will allow, as the rope will allow you. Okay. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to just holler at me. Um, shoot me a message. I do work from um, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day, except Saturday and Sunday. Um, so if I don't get back to you right away, I promise you I will answer your message uh, within, you know, 24 hours, probably less. By the time I get off work, I promise I will, I will holler at you. So any questions, comments, could you just go across the board? You could go across the board. If that's what you wanted to do, you go right ahead. Yeah, you don't even have to, are you talking about this part? Is that what you're talking about, Tara? Yeah, you don't have to pinch it. You could just go across the board and lay it there and glue it right there. I just, you know, didn't want to have that um, piece there. You don't even really have to cover this part. If you're going to do the, um, if you're going to do the ring board, you don't even have to cover this part. The only reason I'm covering this part is because it's going to drive Marianne crazy. You know me. I'm totally... OCD, I can't handle it. You could really just put flowers here. It would be perfectly fine. Uh, no one would ever see it. Because what you're going to do is you're going to stick floral foam down in here. And then you're going to, you know, put whatever you want. Or you could just put a bow on it. You know, put a bow right here and a bow right there. If that's what you want. Put a bow up here. Put a bow, you know, hide it with a bow. You, you're a crafter. You got this. But yeah, you could go back and forth if you wanted to. That would be no problem whatsoever however you wanted to do it. So I'm gonna pull you back up here and talk to you and see what, if you have any um, comments or anything that you see that I could have done better when making this. So let's see here, let's see if I can pull you up. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, my little, uh, let's see. Maybe I can bring you closer. Sorry everybody, I know that kills your eyeballs. Ha ha. I'll get my stuff working before next week. Even if I have to call Carrie Murray at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Dodge Carrie Murray. Anyway, guys, here we are. Here's our basket when it's finally finished. So, again, start from the middle. And see if you um, make your... I, I cut... This is where we ran out of cardboard, right here. And we pushed our little piece in. See? and how I've wrapped rope around it. So if you wanted to, you could even make, see how this looks kind of like even a sitting basket? You could do that there too. Um, and again, when you get done with your basket, make sure you start on an edge or the other, okay? And just wrap around to get to the top. Then when you get to the top, just match, match them go in, okay? Because you're not gonna be able to, you, you don't have enough room here on the inside to keep going around is what I was trying to say earlier, but I couldn't. So again, if you have any problems, just let me know and um, I'll walk you right through it or whatever. Okay. Questions, comments, or concerns? <laughs> well, you're welcome. You're welcome. Y'all take it and run with it. Put some flowers in it. Um, I might put some flowers in it next week. I can't decide if I want to put Valentine's Day or if I want to put a, a bunny in it. <laughs> is it my Easter basket or my Valentine's Day basket? Who knows? Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Here is our almost finished ring board. I think it's going to look cool too when we get it done. Um, or when I get it done. But there you go. Here's our ring board. Here's our oval board. We're going to put some flowers in it pretty soon. And I will see you all next week for another cool and interesting project. 
who knows what we're going to do next week. I'll find something, I'm sure. Um, again, if you have, show the inside where the phone goes. You mean the phone? Okay, phone goes in here. See? Phone goes in there. And what I, what I would do, if you're going to put foam in there, here's what I would do. I would take, because it's pretty deep, you know, that's awfully deep. So what I would do is I would take a basket, or, or not a basket, a bag of some sort, like shopping bags, you know, that you get at Walmart, the plastic bags. And I would stuff it in there, probably to about right here. Okay. About, hmm, till my floral foam hits, you know. And then I would take a floral block, block, cut it in half, and stick it in there. And then try to make it make the shape. And then all you gotta do is stick your flowers in. Okay, maybe I'll show you that next week if that's what you'd like. I mean, if there's something you guys wanna see me do, just holler, I'll, I'm always open, I'm always looking for ideas. There you go. But yeah, so you put the foam in this one exactly the same way. But you've got an awfully big basket here. You don't wanna waste all kinds of money and put a bunch, fill it with floral foam. That's a lot of money to put floral foam in. So I'd put some, here's the, here's this one. So I would put um, some bags or some of those Walmart bags, you know, the plastic bags you get at Walmart, stuff them down in there, probably about, hmm, leave about that much for my floral foam, then cut my block in half and stick it in there. So if you guys wanna see that next week, I'll make sure to finish this one and we can decorate this one together if you want to. We can do that. But um, shoot me a message if you need me. Thank you very much for joining me. I've missed you all. And a month of Sundays continues next week at 8 p.m. God bless each and every one of you. I hope you have an amazing evening. If you need anything, just shoot me a message. Tonight it was made by Marianne. Tomorrow it might be made by you. God bless everybody. Good night.